Hi, and welcome to another free video on PlayPiano.com. Good morning. This is Dwayne, and today I'd like to talk about things you can do with your left hand to break up chords. It's one thing to know chords, to know all the chords, but what do you do with the chords after you know them? I'm a strong believer, as you know, in, in knowing chords, but I'm also a strong believer in knowing what to do with those chords. So let's take a look today just at left hand ways we can break up chords, okay? Left hand ways we can break up chords. Well, first of all, in a song, <clears throat> we could just sustain the chord. That would be the easiest thing. Right? That's very simple. Another thing we could do is do a 2-1 pattern like this. Another thing we could do is use the Alberti bass, which is bottom, top, middle, top of a chord. We're breaking it up that way. Another thing we can do is, <clears throat> is what's called a swing bass. A swing bass is named because you swing your left hand swings down to play a note, a low note like that, and then comes up and plays the chord. So if the chord is C, we, we would swing down with our little finger and play a low C, probably the second C below, uh, above the bottom of the piano, and then the C chord. Now it can be in any inversion. We might, we might. Let me do it a little higher so you can see it, and let me invert the chord to second inversion. So, so we can swing back and forth between that low note and that chord. Okay. Now I'm going to play an octave higher just so you can see it because it, it's a little bit out of reach when I play that low. It's called a swing bass because we're swinging back and forth. Okay. There's also the alternating bass which is the same except every other time instead of hitting the root you hit the fifth of the chord. Another thing we could do is break up the chord in arpeggios, in other words, stretch it out like this. And again, I'll do it an octave higher so you can see it, but it's best, the, the sound is best if you play the second C above, the second C uh, from the bottom of the keyboard. The root, the fifth, and the third. In other words, the same chord, but you stretch it out. Root, fifth, specialized things like like this taking the C6 chord and breaking it up by playing the, the root the fifth and the sixth in that pattern there's also a pattern like this that I can play it straight. Those are straight eighth notes and these are syncopated eighth notes. And that's true of all the all the patterns basically. And then of course there's a boogie pattern like this. What we're doing is we're kind of we're playing the, with the C scale, playing C, C, and then the third. Again, 
that sounds a lot better. A lot better if you go lower. Okay, of course you'll do that. You can get more work on any any uh Again, it can be syncopated, and steady, and you're syncopated. And then there's the classic boogie pattern of playing uh, root, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, flat seventh, and then back down. You do it on F. It's usually played in octaves like this, usually an octave lower, and usually broken. Let me do that slowly high, higher here. C, C, E, E, G, G, A, A, B flat, B flat, A, A, G, G, E. Slowly. Okay. Now that I probably just showed you what a dozen a dozen different patterns, different different ways to break up uh, one chord basically. Okay. And you can apply that to all the chords, of course. So there's a few ideas about ways to break up chords in the left hand. And uh, tomorrow or very soon we'll show you some ways to break up chords in the right hand. Okay. So it's one thing to know chords, another to know what to do with them. So I hope you. Uh, Take that to heart and develop all those styles and many more because there's lots more. Okay, thanks for being with me. And uh, be sure, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, be sure and go down there below the video here and you'll see our uh, web address, playpiano.com, and sign up for our free newsletter on chords. It's full of lots Hi, of great Wayne stuff. Again, like I'd like this. to tell you about a little book that I wrote a few years back. It's called Piano Chords and Chord Progressions, The Secret Backdoor to Exciting Piano Playing. And it's a terrific resource about chords. If you want to know more about chords, uh, you ought to latch onto this book. It's just barely over 10 bucks, 11 bucks, I think it is. And uh, it covers all the chords and chord progressions that uh, I talk about in my videos. It's just a great, uh, it's, it, it's not a substitute for videos, of course, but uh, or DVDs, but it's a great summary. And it's so uh, inexpensive that it's well worth your while to get. Here's a table of contents you can just look down here and see all the things it covers starts out with major minor diminished augmented sixth seventh and on to 13th chords and suspensions and alterations and then gets on to chord progressions and so on so it's a very a very thorough book and uh, it's got a lot, of, a lot of illustrations I'll just toggle through a little bit so you can and there's the back cover so it's worth your while to get so hope you take advantage of that thank you bye bye for now